Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. So this is Momin. Today I will show you how to configure Grand Stream Wi-Fi access point like GWN7630 LR Outdoor Long Range Wi-Fi access point. So this is GWN7630 LR Wi-Fi access point. So I want to show you how to configure with this device properly according to the system. So first of all, we will need to know why we should use about this device. Okay, so this is totally outdoor long range Wi-Fi access point for medium to large business enterprise who need to provide the long range coverage. You will select this device. Okay, and second one, it will pro uh, it already offer weatherproof catching and heat resistance technology and use dual band four into four multiple input and multiple output technology and also sophisticated antenna design for maximum network throughput that supported 200 clients and expanded 300 meter coverage range so that's why we should use grand stream gwm7630 lr long range wi-fi access point okay so this access point that means this ap also can be used for enterprise level or multiple floor office warehouse hospital or any other where you can be use these devices so first of all i want to describe about this one when you will configure about this device so this time first time you need to power okay so before deploying and configure the dwn devices you need to the properly powered up and connect it to the network so I use here is the RJ45 cable connect to this RJ45 port and you can see here the three two ports one of them network and PoE PoE stands for power over ethernet network and power over ethernet both are this port and another one only network port okay so if if you want to use this port only network port this time this access point provide only network and third one here you can see the reset option if you want to reset in your access point if when you will record in this time you will use okay so I use a E to B cable RJ45 connector in this port and this E to B cable connected to the PoE switch okay after PoE switch I connected a ETB cable PV switch to my laptop. So when it is powered up and connected to the network correctly, then you can log in your browser in following method. That means when it will connect it the network, then you can log in, in your browser. Okay. So first of all, you find the device MAC addresses in the back side of the Wi-Fi access point. So when you want to configure these devices in first time, you should be collect the MAC addresses. So this is the MAC addresses, opposite side of this Wi-Fi access, MAC, media access control, you can see here. Okay, and then go to the just in your laptop browser any types of browser you can be used for configure these devices like mozilla firefox google chrome or any other etc so locate the mac address in the mac tech of your unit which is on the uh, underside of the devices or the package if you will not find this mac address from here you will find to this in your packet okay So before configuration in your access device, you should make sure the computer connected to the same network or local area network as the GWN Wi-Fi access point. Ensure device the power properly powered and then enter the administrator login and password in your access point. So before this one, uh, you use in your laptop by same network. Go to the network setting, open the network setting center. And uh, you can see how the change adapter option. I connected to this. Uh, I connected this access over the Wi-Fi details. One nine two one six zero dot one twenty nine. 
okay so this is my laptop IP address and my laptop and this Wi-Fi already connected the both network and both devices connected to the same network and now I want to configure this access point so that's why I go to the browser and here is type just HTTP is clone double slash and GWN 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 underscore this MAC address then hit enter and now you can see the not secure HTTPS site it is log in so another tab I already logged in just log out and also I log out this one okay so first time this graphical user interface will appear this display okay so here you need to add username and password so always username this device here you need to this administrator username and password the administrator login password to access the web configuration menu this one okay the default administrator username is always admin and the password is the unique so not only this access point but also every current stream access point by default password unique okay so this is the password 8j rg rftf okay and second one if unnecessary you will trying to log in in your devices until log in so after five login failure it will be automatically locked for 15 minutes so this is the very important point for you when you will try to configure about this device you should be remembered that you will trying to log in minimum four time after five time fail it will locked 15 minutes okay and another one you can see here the language selection if you want to select the Chinese then you can select Chinese because simplified Chinese language and another one English language okay so here I can just I type just admin should be small admin and the next one password password 8 J R 8 J R G R F D F enter okay so this is the successfully login and the first page will appear you the overview of the access point okay so after successfully login you can see the web interface this page also provides you the overall view of the access point information presented in a dashboard style for easy monitoring along with the firmware version of the date and time and you can see also the firmware version and date and time firmware version and date and time up of the button okay so this is totally overview of the access point so user can quickly see the status of the Wi-Fi of the different different items so here you can see the AP clients AP channel distribution and top apps and top SSID okay so that you can quickly monitoring about your access point so after completely login you can see this dashboard and before this one I will show you how to connect uh, this antenna just use the clockwise okay I connect I will try to connect another one when you will connect to this antenna by using the clockwise routing okay okay so this is properly set up the antenna okay 
so now I will show you how to configure about this device properly so this is AP client AP channel distribution and top access point and top SSIDs so this is the dashboard AP AP means access point so access point always shows the number of access point that are discovered okay so this is always shows the number of discovered paired online and offline devices so this is a discovered at online one offline zero and if you want to go to the total number of access point devices want to see then just click the three dot click the three dot you go to the access point pages for basic and advanced configuration option for the APS okay so here you can see also the devices name MAC address name and IP addresses 192.168.0.127 and you can see also the master slide and actually this access point has two part and when you will configure it you can see the two options one master and other slab supposed to say if you want to configure this a master and master will be connected or disconnected the whole slab ap so this is your opinion what you sh what should be uses for this ap okay and another one the firmware after channel and channel white so if you want to edit this option just click the master or setting option so first time access point this is the first access point another one clients so clients always show the total number of connected client okay so now right now i connected only one client this laptop and count of the clients connected to the each channel so count of the each channel you can maybe click also the three doors supposed to say if you want to see another the advanced level configuration this channel or clients click the three dot okay so when you will click the three doors just need to one two or three second so also this is the first user only one user you can see only one in one total one one and one user and also the whole information you can see here supposed to say mac addresses host name my host name is abcd and my type is a wireless and now I am connected to my laptop over the wireless connection type is wireless and the IP version 4 radio status is online and SSID enlightened moment okay so my SSID is the enlightened moment so it should be configured first time so this is the overview of the clients and next one is the AP channel distribution. AP channel distribution always show the channel used for all APs that are paired with the access point. Okay, just access point, paired of the access point. And another one top APS. Top APS shows the top AP list. Just top AP list. Only one top AP list here you can see. And maybe it's also to the list of the number of the client connected to each access point data using combining upload it and download it that's mean how much data you used in this access point so which client how much data can be used this data download and upload statics you can see here okay and another one top ssid this access point also will be provided 32 or more 36 access point so you will create it 36 access point for this ap from this ap okay so i created only one which one is enlightened moment so when you will create a more than five or six or ten this time you can see the only top ssid from here okay and second one top clients top clients means always top clients show you the top client listed user may be also to the list the client by the other uploaded and downloaded from here so which types of user and which user highest data download and uploaded this is statics you can see here suppose to say now i'm right now i connected only one that's why this top clients will show only one abcd and this is the mega addresses and i use already downloaded 784 mb and uploaded 33 for 4 mb okay so this is the statics for you 
and another one alert and notification alert and notification you can see the three types of alert and notification so alert critical zero major zero and normal two so here three category alert option first one critical and second one major and third one normal so critical issues when your access point goes to the any critical issue in that time will appear about your critical problem here okay so after see in your critical issue you should be protecting your wi-fi access from gender harming so this is totally overview of the access point and, and this page is addition to other tab can be updated each 15 second one minute two minutes and five minutes or nearby clicking on the upper bar of the option so 15 second one minute two minute five minute or never if you want to see the never your overview pages will never update it automatically so it should be select in your updated time or if you will not select it it will automatically by default 15 second later updated the whole information and showing in your overview pages so i need to create a ssid okay so in this time i just go to the ssid setting ssid setting click to these options and to left side you can see the menu option and right side of the setting so after click the ssid you can see the one ssid already created the enlightened moment okay so this is the wi-fi mode and client ip assigning bridge so if you want to editing about this one just click the edit option just edit ssid name is enlightened moment enable ssid check box already click if you will not click about this check box it in, in your ssid will not appear in not showing to other devices okay in this time nobody will connect to you that's mean your access point so that's why i will just enable ssid if i will not so this time will not broadcasting to other one so another one client IP assign bridge if you will select the net so set only for the net mode client will get to the IP addresses from the specific network address translator pool so when you will create the net this time just two types of IP addresses needed first one LAN and one one so two types of network when you will use in this time you should be use the net that's mean network address translator so in this case the first time you need to the dcp pool and then create it a vlan and then connect or configure the net okay so another one access security option security the most important for you suppose if you if you will not properly protect to your devices by using security code or security character everyone everyone automatically connected to in your wi-fi access so you you will remember that you should be use access security okay so here is various types of access security i use the wpa pre-shared key some key okay so this is my key for security so wpa pre-shared key always supported ascii code ASCII code okay so another one you can see the very uh, various types of configuration that uh, this is not required for you if you will a simple user or if you want to simply configure to your access point this time you just create SSID client IP assignment WPA pre shared key and then save Okay. okay so this is my first ssid so if i will create another one just click add and type here and light and moving enable ssid okay and then password after completed in your configuration you just click save so when you 
clicking on the save button after configuration or changing any option so in this time you can see on the top option apply or revert message okay so the number changing will appear on the upper menu click button to apply changes if you will not click to apply the whole configuration will cancel okay or revert go automatically go to the revert option so if you want to change just click the apply option okay so completely created two ssid similarly i am also creating 32 ssid from this wi-fi access okay so another one client so you can see also the client option but it will also appear in the overview pages you can see first time and also you can see access control access control means if you want to limitation if you want to provide in your browser if you want to provide in your uh, users some limit access supposed to say some protocol you will blocking automatically and you will not provide the, this protocol like ftp or http or some specific website or some specific user so this time you just use the access control okay and time policy if you want to use the time policy supposed to say in your environment you should be providing your access point some time specification day or night or specific time suppose in your office should be provide the official bandwidth or official internet and uh, in your residential you should be used residential time suppose day or night okay and another the bandwidth rules bandwidth rules means how much bandwidth provide in your access point per user or per MAC address or per IP address so if you want to configure this one just click the add option here you can see enable option and select the first time the SSID SSID means select all enlightened moving or enlightened moving so if you want to select the per SSID just click enlightened moving okay or if you want to click per MAC address or per client or per IP address when you click the IP address, then in this time it should be used properly particular IP address. Okay, so I just click here the particular IP address or and then select here the upload limit and download limit. Or if you want to use the MAC address, then it should be used the MAC address properly here. So this is the down bandwidth rules. Another one captive portal, captive portal is guest policy list and space pages or voucher if you want to configuration captive portal it should be configured okay so then you can see the radio radio option radio option means general 2.4 g 2.4 or 5g which types of radio megahertz provide to in your access point you just configure here okay and service service hotspot 2.0 2.0 you can see if you want to configure 2.0 in this time just click add and you can see also the simple network management protocol and dscp server so dscp server is the most important for us suppose to say any isp provide you the only one ip address or any local isp provide you only one ip address in this time you should be created the address pool okay so this is the disk scope network pool so first time you should be created only network pool so this is the default gateway 10.1.0.1 and static dcp so here you can see three steps dcp scope network pool and static dcp so dcp provided you local isp provide you one ip address then you you will also provide to in your users so how many ip you will require so many for okay so this time you will need to many ip address i still provide to one ip address you will need to 200 or 300 as per record in your user so this time you just create it only dscp scope click here to disk scope first time you should be use the dscp scope name then enable should be enabled otherwise it will not work properly and then you can see VLAN ID should be use the VLAN ID because this is the different IP network. So this is the different network and your ISP provide to the another network IP address. Okay.
so you should be use the VLAN IP address properly. Then DHCP server static address remains. DHCP server subnet marks address start address int and DHCP list time 12 hours. This is totally depend on you. So before configuration Wi-Fi access, you should be uh, gathering some knowledge about network or IP addresses or DHCP server. Okay, otherwise you cannot configure this one properly. And then this will get to DNS server and DNS alternative server. After completing this information, you will just click save. Okay. So DHCP server we use only for providing the automatic IP address. That's been dynamically host configuration protocol. When this Wi-Fi actions automatically provide the IP address from my users in this time I created DHCP server pool. And finally, system. System setting. This is the normal setting. This is the very simple for you. This is a basic setting for you. Okay. And finally, alert and notification. So, this is the Grand Stream network issues. The Grand Stream GWN7630 LR Wi Fi access configuration system. And also this uh, this one also provides you the cloud services for you if you want to connect this AP for cloud editing in this time it should be connected cloud okay so cloud very uh, cloud is a very suitable and very comfortable for you supposed to say you are not the near of the device you are the outside of the device and so for long and so far distance in between you and your devices in this time uh, you will properly check by over the cloud your device is online or offline okay so if you will configure the new device by editing uh, cloud this time you should be connected by properly cloud using okay so this is the total configuration system of the GWM7630 LR Wi-Fi access point for you this is the totally outdoor for long distance uses so if you want to business if you want to do a simple business or if you want to establish in your office or if you want to establish this one in your school environment um, by 300 meters and you should uh, you need to the good coverage in this time you should be used the wi-fi and uh, granny streams gwn7630 lr wi-fi access point okay so this is the configuration system of these devices so i will hope that you will learn it you will a little bit i will learn obviously or if you not able to properly capture this configuration please comment in my comment box okay so thank you very much for watching my videos and see you again to another one till then bye take care